Hello beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to the channel Irish Donna Tarot. We're getting ready to do an energy update love reading. This could be any person that you love. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, but it can be mostly lovers as well people are tuning into so let's see here we're going to cut this deck thank you for stopping by i want to thank everyone for subscribing liking sharing and commenting in the past all my beloved subscribers the hermit card you're in your head you're looking for answers you want to i think you're taking time out for yourself i think you needed a lot of private time it's virgo energy working out in your head and your heart what you need and want in love okay so let's see what we have this is going to be your energy at the top then your lover's energy and then the outcome so we have messenger of earth so it looks like you make an invitation to somebody the moon card it looks as though you might do that in the wee hours you do feel a little bit uncertain about this person who is in your life at this time you're not positive about what they want or what they're looking for you're searching for answers three of air it does speak the three of air is when you've had a heartbreak that is a time in your life when you're really looking for answers about what has happened with different relationships or relationships in general i feel as though you're doing a lot of introspecting and looking for the clues that will help you figure out how to be successful in love temptation the devil energy devil energy is usually not all that mysterious in my experience it usually simply means that we want to control something that we want to feel as though we're in control but control is sort of the antithesis of love right love flows it's it's a it's a self-propelled energy so you're very tempted by someone around you you're very tempted by this beautiful peach of love but it does look like you're you're going through a bit of a, a t you know a moment here because it's not very comfortable. You look like you're in pain and you look like you're keeping it to yourself. The person of interest that you are thinking about is a seven of water, somebody who is maybe a Pisces, but is a person who isn't very clear about what they want. This person is keeping their options open, but they don't even know what they want. They do fantasize about you. There is a really beautiful rapport of energy between you and this person because we have two Pisces cards next to each other. You, you get them, I think. You understand them more than they understand themselves. Let's see what we have here. The two of earth, the per, your person is that you're dealing with may be dating multiple people or at least keeping their options open, juggling their time juggling their energy again these are two cards of like really dating sort of shotgun dating but really liking two people you are one of the two people that they most prefer to spend time with the four of water they're not giving you much attention right now the four of water is sort of when somebody is this person is sort of bored with their life and they're dissatisfied with their life and they don't know quite what to do about it. It's not a serious issue. It's sort of like when somebody wakes up and goes, oh, they're just, I have a total lack of gratitude for all the good things. Now, I don't think that's completely true, but it's, it's almost as like, have you ever heard of the, the fairy tale of Goldilocks, right? She goes into the house and she sleeps in one bed and it's too hard and another bed is too soft and, and then another bed is just right. So it's a person who's trying to find what's right for them. And they're sort of not, they haven't arrived at that point yet. The Queen of Fire, look at that. That's how they view you. It's very passionate, the consummate businesswoman, the woman who really knows how to keep the fires burning. You are very successful. You're very sexy. You're very tenacious. They see you as a very free-spirited person, one who stands in her power or his power. But again, you know, the queen is a feminine energy even for a masculine person. But I'm getting this energy. That is the temptress of the zodiac. I mean, the queen of fire, the Aries queen, is the one who's the most outgoing, deemed to be very sexy, irresistible, if you will. Let's see what the outcome is. We have the page of water. So this person is gonna reach out to you with a very sweet message. Those are the, 
the underpinnings of love, the page of cups. There could be an age difference in the relationship, but the page of water is sweet. You know, it's like when, when a toddler brings you, you know, a bouquet of dandelions, but it's very sweet energy and it is very significant. So you're gonna get a message that's very sweet in the near future from this person. We, oh, <laughs> this is very interesting because you bring out that tiger roar. We have the Leo King here, Leo the Lion King. So your person has a lot of fire. Look at, we've got the King and Queen of Fire. You may have this person recognizing that maybe you're not one of two, you're one of one. So we're going to look and see. This person has really thought through the process. They've used their intellect. They've really, you know, they've made a head over heart decision. But it's not, but this is a heart decision. That's a head decision. And that's tapping into their emotions. And we have the moon. I like it. Okay. So we have the five of water. Okay. So there's still some disappointment here. I feel as though... Someone here thinks that they're owed an apology. Scorpio, I kind of think it's maybe more you because you're feeling, you're feeling as though this person somehow rejected you. And it's tempting to think that, but I would say this person had to go through a process. You absolutely know that because you're a Scorpio. But you're able to get through that process very quickly, and this person isn't as fast on their feet as you are. So let's go ahead and get a clarifier for this Five of Water card. So I do think the person that you're talking to, I think the outcome is may well be that they come back to you and the sweet message you get is an apology. Something like, hey, sorry I've been out of touch with you. Sorry, I haven't talked to you. And it looks like it's been a bit of time here, three weeks. You know, could be even a couple of months here for you, Scorpio. But I do feel as though your person apologizes. And we have, all oh, look at that. The reversed three of swords. This is the upright three of swords, meaning that you're really hurt. Now you're looking at this going, oh, they didn't forget about me. You're really looking at this in um, a way that says that it mends the relationship that your person sees that they didn't give to you in the way that they should have or would have. It looks as though you're going to get an invitation, Scorpio. Let's look at the Secret Destiny cards here and see what's going to happen. If there's anything that our destiny can tell you about this love. Oh, look at that. A big old bouquet of flowers. Now, it represents love. It doesn't mean you're going to get a bouquet. But let's look. But you might. You might get a bouquet. I always put flowers on my desk. I try to always do that. I want everybody to get flowers. Have flower energy in their, in their love life. We get never-ending story. So this person has really been through a relationship in which nothing ever went right. They were blamed for things all the time. That is why they, that's what they had to sort through. The never-ending story is what your person had to sort through with a past lover. Yeah, I'm getting the card of imagine. So they can't even imagine wanting to go back into that situation. They can't imagine why they stayed in that situation. And we see observers. So your person has really made a very good, uh, I think, recovery from a tough period in their life. I think um, that's, I mean, that's definitely great energy for you. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. It's been a delight. I hope you enjoy this. Please like, share, comment, um, and uh, leave a comment. Tell me where you're from. Sending you love from Chicago. Bye-bye.